Here's a few crashes, fires and wild rides from British drag racing, mainly at Santa Pod in the 60s, 70s and 80s, taken from my time travel DVDs. We kick off with a flash fire on commuter as it leaves the line, then a somewhat bigger explosion for Ronnie Picardo in Highway Patrol as he coasts up the 1320 minus the supercharger. Clive Skilton brings out the new Revolution 3 for its first pass in 1972. It all goes well until the chute falls off at the top end. Also in 72, Colin Mullen debuts his new Invader and heads for our cameraman. Then an unusual race as two Triumph carts lose far on the line, so the drivers get off and push. Robert Jacobs gets the whole shot, but Derek Penfold takes it with a top end charge. Nineteen seventy three saw two American funny cars enter the International Series. At the final meeting, Alan Bootsy Herridge drove the Stardust Barracuda against Paula Murphy in the STP Duster. Bootsy blew the supercharger just before the finish line, taking the roof off the car. The accident occurred because it had run out of fuel and Stardust was taken back to the fiberglass repairs workshops where they repaired the body and fitted a larger fuel tank. The top fuel final at the 1978 Internationals saw Kent Pearson take on Mickey Naylor in the Medicine Man Slingshot, which pulled a massive wheel stand and was destroyed on its return to Earth. A sad end to the last of the UK's competitive top fuel slingshots, and a car that Dennis Priddle had taken to a 604 in 1975, the quickest slingshot ET in the world at that time. Here's another look from the pit side. August 1979 saw Bootsy in the Gladiator taking on Owen Hayward in Hound Dog. After the burnout, Spooksy got the front wheels up and then put it on its roof. The car was repaired and back out at the next meeting. Here Alan Bates bangs the blower during the burnout in Warlock. Fuel altered time as Freddie Whittle burns out in shutdown, followed by Dave Stone in T-Rat, which clips the Christmas tree, scattering light bulbs all over the track. The two Santa Pod wheel standers head off, then Owen Hayward brings out Hound Dog 7 to take on Dennis Priddle in the STP Avenger.
Nobby Hills had just fitted a new clutch, which resulted in Owen putting it up on the rear bumper as Priddle goes up in smoke, robbing us of a clear view. Here's another look from the top end. It's Priddle and Hayward again. Dennis is in trouble this time with a top end far. John Morton loses a rear wheel off Invader as a half shaft snaps. Larry Arnold was getting out of shape in the Lawman Anglia and scaring a few photographers. 1974 saw the end of the popular Panic Topolino as Dave Page hits the barrier. Here's another earlier shot of Panic doing a 180 in the burnout. May 1983 at Blackbush saw Bob West getting a little sideways on a damp track in Slick Willie. Later in the day he came out on a dry strip alongside Sue Coles in Hauser Poppin and this time he rolled. The car was repaired but rolled again at Longmaston in August. Clive Michel takes a hard left and mounts the barrier in his rat powered vet at Longmaston. It's Owen Hayward again, this time getting completely out of shape and writing off the Hound Dog 7 funny car. Finally, an unlucky bike rider gets a little bit warm going through the traps. Thankfully, none of the drivers or riders in these clips were seriously injured.